evidence in this case has been known since 2006. Yeah, he was not even arrested until 2008. The government itself <laughs> clearly believes that Dr. Mahana is not a threat to his community, even if they are stating differently now. The misconduct of the U.S. Attorney's Office cannot go overlooked as Let's this go. case moves forward. One of the attorneys responsible for this case, Jeffrey Auron, is himself the object of ongoing proceedings for severe prosecutorial misconduct. A bulk of the evidence of the government is of this case rests on the claims of coerced witnesses who are offered reduced sentences for implicating Dr. Mahana in crime. It was attorney Auron who was present in, two, in February a year ago in 2010 seeking probation for Bilal McLeod as a reward for his so-called assistance in giving testimony against Dr. Mahana. Clearly, Auron's record in mishandling informants is very relevant to this case today. Dr. Mahana is a devout Muslim who has given tirelessly to his community as it obviously clearly can be seen by the presence of so many here. He is a man who expresses love of his faith and a deep commitment to justice. Rampant Islamophobia is at the root of this case. Dr. Mahana is a known moderate in his political views and consistently demonstrates his peaceful response to conflict. Even in the government's own discovery, they reveal a statement from Dr. Mahana where he says, we are a people who don't return evil for evil. We return evil with kindness. And we treat those who treat us bad with good. This is the man who we are talking about. This is the man who needs to come back to his community. This is the man who we're fighting for bail today. And we are hoping and expecting the judge to make the right choice and bring this man out into the community so he can prepare for the case that comes up in October. Jason Lydon, L Y D as in David O N. Can you speak again, please, Reverend, to the uh, you retaliation issues? The retaliation that our, Dr. Mahana was given the opportunity or was being coerced by the FBI to be an informant on his own community, and he refused to do so. This is retaliation directly for that. Are you from Mr. Sir? Uh, no, I, I serve the community church of Boston here in Boston. Who is everyone here? There are friends, family. Well, I have not, I, I traveled here from the Washington, D.C. area uh, to sit in on this trial, uh, this um, hearing. What's your name, sir? My name is Mauri Salakan, uh, spelled M-A-U-R-I. The last name is spelled S as in Sam, A-A-L-A-K-H-A-N. I'm the director of operations for the Peace Through Justice Foundation based in uh, the greater Washington, D.C. area. I traveled here today for the hearing, uh, and this is my first time actually sitting in on one of these hearings involving Tariq. Um, but I hope you were lis listening closely to what was being said, because as I listened to the argumentation, if it had not been for the fact that Dr. Mahana has been uh, unjustly imprisoned for as long as he had, I, I would have been, I would have felt sympathy for the prosecution, because I don't know if this prosecutor's style is as it was depicted today, but if it isn't, he really had to strain to make his case, because there isn't a case. And it, it's, it's, it's very tragic. I, I'm sitting there and I'm thinking to myself, I'm, I'm, I'm reflecting on something that, that the French philosopher Voltaire once said. He said, those who can make us believe absurdities can also cause us to commit atrocities. And there are many atrocities like this being, being done all over America in the name of national security and a war on terrorism. And again, I hope the media was really listening closely to the argumentation on both sides. And I, I do hope that you will report what you heard fairly. Thank you. He has not been involved in any fight, in any... I've been teaching in that school where he was going with Islamic school. He was one of the most kindest, just, upright young men the society can have. Instead of using him for teaching the others, 
instead of bringing the value, now we're keeping him in the solitary confinement, and the bankers, though they have robbed the entire country, they are running us, all of us. What's your name, sir? Mazhar Qureshi. Can you spell that? No. <laughs> <laughs> we all are brothers, <laughs> children of Adam and Eve. <laughs> Thank you for your honesty. <laughs> <laughs> Free time! Free time! Free time!